you know, it was mostly me being in the right place at the right time. Um, I zone dropped to my coverage, and I got my eyes back to the receiver, like, I've been practicing all week, and I saw it bounce off his head, and I was like, about to, it fell in my hands, and I looked up just like Louisville, and I saw that, all that field, and I knew I had to go get it once again, and um, it was just a really good feeling. Um, I wouldn't say I feel better than Louisville such challenge, but just knowing me doing my assignment, that that big play was a good feeling. Let's say about this team, they go on the road again, three top 15 games, two of them on the road, and you just keep answering the test, and you keep answering the test in convincing fashion, especially when you here. Um, it's a big credit to our defense and um, our offense and our special teams as well. It's, um, it's about how we prepare week in, week out. Um, we do a little things right, you know, getting our sleep, uh, watching film, uh, taking good notes, and doing it outside of the facility. You know, you just can't come in Monday or Friday and expect uh, results. You have to put in extra work, and I think this this team um, it takes a lot of pride in that and sustains the grind week in, week out. What does this mean to you to come here and play well and win? I mean, you personally. Um, it's a really good feeling, you know. Um, I didn't have my best game last week against Boston College, so to be able to bounce back, uh, definitely a good conference booster. What did you see on the pass? That's all I have. P6 is already here. The first time since 1997. Oh, um, I don't know. I don't really know what to say. Um, like I said, it was just me uh, doing my job. Um, I was fortunate enough to come down with the ball and uh, be able to get in the end zone and put points on the uh, board for the offense. Cause it was funny because after I scored, the offense is so happy because they get another break, they get another breather, they don't have to go out for another series. So any any way I can serve my teammates, I'm all for it. Pick was more impressive. Yours are awesome. Definitely awesome. He one-handed it and uh, he, he bounced back because he had an opportunity to get one earlier in the game and uh, he didn't. So he definitely made up for it. What did you see on that play for him? For him, um, I saw him hungry to or redemption, I should say, to make up for that last one. Um, I wouldn't be surprised if I saw that on top. Usually see many defensive ends move like that. I would think. Nah, him, Christian Wilkins are pretty up there though. So I wasn't too surprised. It was a very athletic game. Is there any story about your uh, house call celebration? Um, whenever uh, I first started playing for Clemson, um, I always told myself, if I ever get a pick six, um, you know, there, there's no other way to celebrate that. But to let everyone know I'm making a house call, you know, um, you know, I, it wasn't just a house call. It means a lot of things. Call God, um, money's calling, um, house call. So however you want to interpret it. Um, you guys are so good. Uh, you guys are so quick and so good. East and West pursuit. Is that just the whole, is that the key to your defense and the your quickness? Um, I would say the key. I think the key to our defense is just getting 11 hash to the ball. Um, you know, when the ball is thrown, we need everyone to react, and uh, we take pride in that in practice. Just 11 hash to the ball because you have to expect the first guy to miss the tackle. So if the first guy misses the tackle, he has 10 other helmets coming to get him. Was it was it important to put a lot of pressure on the freshman quarterback? Absolutely. You know, um, we have very experienced uh, D line, and um, he was a good player, and they have a good offensive line, and um, it was a good challenge. Um, a lot of good competition um, across the board. Um, so credit to them for holding up our defense the way they did. But um, had fun. Obviously, second pick six of the season. You also recovered that fumble in the game. How was it that you just keep being in the right place at the right time? I just taking pride in my preparation. Um, you know, just sustaining the grind, just doing my job, not trying to be Superman, not trying to make the plays I'm not supposed to make. And um, <laughs> lo and behold, when I do what I'm supposed to do, I come around and make big plays. So as long as I keep doing that, I think I can help the team. There's something about a, there's something about a pick six though that really takes the wind out of the crowd and the team. 